I'm now being joined by Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garaba Shehu. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Uh, this is the third broadcast the President will be uh, bringing forward in uh, the face of the pandemic. And in this new measure, he's announced uh, a phased gradual easing of uh, lockdown uh, measures in uh, places that are affected. Help us put this in better perspective. Now there's going to be an overnight curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. and the businesses and offices will open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. In a location like Lagos, where traffic is a big deal, how do people navigate from their homes to their places of work within that time uh, allotted? They just have to find a way to do this because, uh, look, everyone is taking the measures that are, that are measured, that are step by step, and you don't just open up the whole country, you know, because you have begun to witness some, uh, you know, uh, effectiveness of the control that you have put in place. So, uh, yes, there are difficulties with the traffic in Lagos. People then have to measure their movements and ensure that they make it back home before 8 o'clock when the curfews begin. We are here because the measures put in the first instance in Lagos, Ogun, and FCT had worked, and there is measurable progress that is being witnessed. So people cannot now destroy what they have built incrementally coming up to this point. All right, let's talk about uh, religious gatherings and other social gatherings at this time. Indeed, the president has mentioned the mandatory use of face masks, but does this easing of restriction orders mean that people can gather in mosques and the churches to worship? No, absolutely no. Uh, the ban on religious and social gatherings still will be maintained. Social distancing will continue. The face mask you have just mentioned, look, this is a global, uh, is the evolution of a global culture. You can see that all over the world now, face masks, they are becoming a part of your uniform and we probably will have to do make make do with these uh, things for as long as there is no vaccine that would uh, attack uh, this this virus all right and in that broadcast the president mentioned that selected businesses can open uh, selected businesses and office can open from 9 a.m to 6 p.m what are these selected businesses no there is no we are not there yet because uh, as this lockdown on this uh, two states and the FCT now, including Kano, would of course run for another week. It is from next week, Monday, that we are going to have the new order of things being rolled out. And uh, all of the businesses that will be allowed to operate will now be disclosed, as the president said, by the various committees that have responsibility for you know, studying these things. Okay, so just for the avoidance of doubt and to be sure that I got to write it on Monday, would expect the presidency to talk about what businesses fall into this category that can operate between six, uh, between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Exactly. This will be disclosed ahead of Monday next week, the 4th. All right, let's now talk about uh, movement. In Lagos, for instance, we'll find uh, out that people who themselves are involved in essential services, not all of them are mobile. For instance, you'll find at the bus stops a number of people who are market women who are selling these essential uh, items but cannot make it to their marketplaces. What provisions do we have for such people to get to their places of work, for instance? Well, uh, the, 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 the president... Uh, has given the broad outlines for operationalization of these controls. And in the speech, he did mention that states will now go and define the detail as to how they will operationalize. I know in a number of states, for instance, where they allow the KK and APEF, in some states you find that they are allowed to carry just one person there. In some places, not more than two. Lagos has just found a way of managing the huge crowd that they have. 
physical distancing would have to be maintained. All right, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garaba Shehu, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10.